the why matters to me because it's, I mean, it, for me in high school was my safe place. It was a place that I knew I could be whoever I wanted to be. Uh, I didn't have to hide. I didn't have to pretend I was something else. I could just be myself and I could be accepted for that. In high school, I found a passion for leading other people, and I wasn't necessarily sure what I wanted to do. So I continued uh, through the program in junior year in high school. Uh, my mom was actually arrested and spent three years in jail. So the place that I had to turn was the Y. I had a teen director at that time, Wes Bender, who's been a mentor in my life. It was staff people at the YMCA who just served as a family for me. To have that atmosphere and to know that there's a place that it's more than a gym, it's more than a swimming pool, which is what a lot of people see it as, but it's really a place where people are passionate and care about other people and really want to make a difference in somebody else's life. I mean, the teens here, they, they get a lot out of it personally. Just being able to be out in the community and understanding that it's a better feeling to give than it is to receive the smiles that they have an opportunity to put on other people's faces. It's, there's such intrinsic value there where they're feeling uh, so much better about the things that they're doing and so much more accomplished in life just because they can be a benefit to somebody else. The most rewarding times for me is when that light bulb goes off in a kid's head and he's like, this is it. Like, this is, this is why I was created. This is what I'm created to do. Those are the most exciting times, and it's why I do what I do, and it's why I enjoy it, and it's why I probably will never do anything else. You know, I plan to retire from Hawaii and just be here because there's there's not many other organizations that you can do that with.